And we're back with some more RimWorld. And so, wow. Have you ever made just ridiculous quantities of medicine because you just have to perform that many operations? I, I, I want to try and keep about a basic of 500 medicine just around the place. And we have cleared the map of almost all the neutronium in existence. Just because of neutronamine, neutronium, whatever it's called. There is how much here? 1,143 of the stuff still on site. And according to our little shopping thing, there's only six sites on the entire map that still have any left to buy. We've bought all the rest. We've cleared everywhere out. Namely because everyone's getting upgrades. Lots and lots of upgrades. Have you ever seen someone in a war cask who can move at just stupidly high speeds? Uh, let's just try... Actually, Draco here. Draco. Uh, let's get you boosted a little bit. Now, they've got 14.46 movement speed, which is... It's pretty fast. In a war cask, that's... Hella fast, but it's not like top speedy, speedy, speedy. So all we do is we just jack on speed boost, and now we can move at 34. So they're basically a tank that can move at the speed of, like, a race car. It's kind of stupid. But, you know, that's, that's what this has all been about anyway. Today's goal? Very, very straightforward. We're going to wipe out the void. All of them. Uh, there is... Yep, yeah, whatever, various amounts of them left on the map. We're going to have to fly people over there and get close enough. But before we do that, there is one last thing we got to do, and that is Idris. They are the only one who has not been voided up. Everyone else has been basically implanted with an absolute button of all of the implants that are inside those void people. We ripped him out of one void person, stuck him into ours. That's why it cost so much medicine. Each one of those takes two medicine to rip out of someone and two medicine to put into someone. Also, pro tip when it comes to the void, void lungs are terrible. Uh, they don't actually stop rot stink. You can get uh, rot stink infection from corpses on void lungs. I, I don't know if they're bionic or part organic or whatever it is, but it just, it makes no sense. So all we gotta do is hold out for one more person to show up here who contains all of the implants we're looking for. Yeah, that, that, that might take them a little bit of time. Two hours from now, we should get another attempt. These are leftover masks and stuff they left behind. So I probably should give those to our people. They're pretty good masks. It's just a case of... I kind of like having the size sensitivity on our people in case we want to jab them with spells. Let's see, we've got 330 points of void headed our way and it's two drop pods. I'm thinking our odds of getting what we're looking for are not great. Now, where are they? Ah, oh, they're landing in that room again. Uh, one second, we'll put on speed boost on Zoe, who has a top speed of 90? Yeah, well, it's dark outside, so she's feeling a little bit sluggish in the... You know, well, when it's dark, you can't see so good. Where are you, Zoe? Oh, got caught in some doorways. Right. Uh, we'll see what these two are like, but I think we may be waiting another day to get the right ones. You, what have you got? Please tell... Nope. None of the good stuff. We're looking for the neutronium... They need to have neutronium B4B serum. It's red, and they do not have it. Without that, they are useless to us. So, smash. Uh, how are you looking? Do you have the... No, you are even worse. Well, that is just great. While we are waiting for the Void to show up again, like, normally they do show up with someone who's of decent quality to grab. There's a few things we take care of over here. One is we flash grow all of this uh, psychoid plant so that we can make more drugs. And then we have our people who are doing a lot of meditating come over here and use their... What's it called again? Transmutation ability to turn drugs into some other random item of a similar value. Uh, this time we got our hands on a guided shot and animal allies combined with a void tech kidney we don't care about. You know what? That void tech kidney can go right back into getting turned into something else we don't care about. The void tech kidneys. Don't really need them. Never found a use for them. And then we just start mutating them again. And done. And Chris has already done that time sphere thing there. We've sealed off the area so no one wanders in and stupidly ages themselves up rapidly. And that's sort of what we've been doing in the background while, uh... Zoe has been busy taking care of capturing the necessary people. Everyone else has been busy doing this. There is one other thing we have been doing in the background, that is de-aging our people. Uh, you'll notice over here that we have a child. This was a little bit of an accident. They used to be an adult, but we accidentally aged them so far back in time that they went back and became a child. My bad. Then it turns out they had a growth moment, and during their growth moment they got hard worker. So I de-aged them again so they could have another growth moment. Thing is, you gotta get them some learning first. So right now they're at growth tier one, uh, so they've got two options to choose from, and I don't think they're ever gonna make it to 13. The game's probably finished before they make it to 13, but you know, it, it was just an interesting side gamble. Anyway, for now, we're gonna get lamb one over here, and we're going to get them to pop down here and grab, where, is that the ring I'm looking for? There's a time, 
found the ring. It's called time reversal. Basically, it ages the caster by five years, but it de-ages the target by ten. So, you know, net gain of five years. Now, I've had these playing Ring Around the Rosie, where this one would pick up the ring, they de-age the pawn on the left of them, who would then pick up the ring off their unconscious body and de-age the, the lamb on the right of them, which would then strip the ring off the next person and daisy-chain it all the way along. So now all of them are in their 20s to 30s. There's none of them that old at all. In fact, some of them are very young indeed at the age of 11. But lamb here, well, I think it's time we've done enough of all of that. It's time to start de-aging. Well, I may have been slightly ahead and de-aged a few people already. Everyone here needs to be younger than 40. Everyone. We're not having anyone who's over the age of 50. Uh, it would be, it's just you can get negatives from things and we don't want those. So Muppet, get over here. We're going to age you down a good 10 years. Uh, you're going to feel amazing after this one. So Muppet's going to go from 54 to 44. Then we're going to bring in the next pawn, which will be, yeah, you know what? This one's, you're 30. You can, you can go up, you can become 35, can you? Yeah, you might as well. Why not? Nope, nope. Put them down. That was too fast. Uh, could you drop them? I want you to strip them. Perfect. Now, where did the... Damn it, the rings around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Then we just get them to, well, de-age the next person down, and so on and so forth. Willie gets to go from 53, is it? Yeah, 53 down to 43. Oh, I should probably bring in the next lamb as well. Just to get them ready for the stripping procedure. Actually, Willie, why don't you strip them? The thing is, they don't drop the ring when they pass out unconscious. So you have to strip them to get the ring off of their body. And I think there's only one left. Is that... There's Catgirl and... Oh, actually, there's Catgirl and Brian. All right, you two over here. Get ready for your uh, becoming young again ceremonies. And that's it. Everyone's below the age of 40. I think that is the last side quest I was on. Everyone's now super young. There was a... Uh, a slight glitch at one point where Cybermen got into the fields while it was under the midst of a time spell and they aged up about, oh, about 15, 20 years during their late 60s. So aging them down was one of those things I wanted to take care of. And once I aged them down a bit, I might as well get everyone down a bit. Oh, uh, wow. When did I put Basil on the ability to harvest? Basil should not have that ability. It's Cyberman, Cyberman's, Cyber, Cyber? Uh, Cyberman's job to do all of the harvesting and planting, namely because they've got all of those massive bonuses. We did a minor tweak to our religion, so it's no longer quite as, uh, preachy. Uh, so we were able to give them back their ears, and now that they can hear again, they don't have... Well, it's not really affecting their, uh, their loyalty to their religion, so they should be fine. Which reminds me, where is it? Draco? Yeah, we've been meaning to convert Draco for a while. Inver Draco is one of the main colonists that still has not converted over to our religion. Everyone else is a redditor. Uh, except for, well, all the lambs. The lambs are just their thing. We'll probably be disposing of them before we activate the final plan. And this here is where the fastest drug dealer in the West works. C can you see the drugs beneath them just growing ridiculously fast? The moment the, the drugs here, though, expired, it just takes them forever to move anything around. The whole thing of walking back and forth from here to there slows them down just a ridiculous place. They just get her the drugs instantly transition. It's all of those implants they get from the Void. The Void are just so ridiculously overpowered, it's incredible. And what are you doing in there? We shouldn't... Who let a squirrel into the kitchen? Add the squirrel to the hot pot. Dear God. Oh, and where's Bjorn? Uh, we, we've given Bjorn another little treat. See, Bjorn is wearing some weird gear, and you'll notice uh, they sort of have, like, a helmet on. They've got a cataphract helmet on, and then a hood on top of it. It turns out you can get a hyper weave cloak hood that protects your neck and it gives you a social bonus and you can just put it on top of a cataphract helmet. Makes them look like a, I don't know what that is on their face. Like it, you're, you're wrapping basically a space helmet in a lump of cloth. I, I don't know why it improves their social, but uh, I think if I saw someone wearing that, I'd be like, you're a Muppet, but it seems to work for the social aspect so our trader can have it. Well, this looks more interesting, 690 points. So it's about... Well, it's double the last one, so there definitely should be something here worth stealing. Uh, assuming they don't do something stupid like bring along too many people. The less people that come, the better- oh, there's three drop pods. I don't know if that's it. Damn it, I forgot to wait for speed to apply it. They're only moving at 30 speed. There we go, now Zoe can move at 90 speed. <laughs> 90 speed is just absolutely ridiculous. Also, we can give them focus, which now means they move at 147 speed. Which, come on, seriously? I'm pretty sure the game can't handle those types of speeds. 
Okay, now we're gonna have to kill a few of them, so we might as well apply blade focus right now. And on top of that, the controlled frenzy. Now that's gonna give that weird heartbeat noise that seems to freak people out. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what have we got here? We have no neutronium for in neutronin, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm stuck with the name. I'm gonna stick with it. Here we are. Excellent. You have all of the implants you want. We want you alive. That is perfect. In that case, we will just skip you right beside us, and then we will zap you. The great thing about skipping you is it stuns you at the same time, so you won't do anything to us, and we won't accidentally smack you with the hammer. One of us, and then you can head to the extraction point. We will be along shortly. We just have to take care of some minor inconveniences over here. Great thing is it's a kill happy hammer, so we're going to gain some of our psi focus back by killing these two. Should be pretty quick. Where do you think you're going? No, 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 you're not getting out of here. We can move at 118 speed right now, and you are dead. And we gained a bunch more Versailles focus back. Excellent. Now let's see if you can get back to the portal before the other guy. I mean, the other guy had a massive head start. No, you didn't make it in time. All right, gear-wise, we do not want the helmet. Pointless, you can drop that off here. We'll also get rid of the Wraith Cannon. We'll keep the Vengeance Guard armor. I like them because they come pre-colored, and it just, you know, it, it appeals to me. Oh, uh... I don't think we need any more of those Void Tech skins. We've got too many of those already. Zoe, uh, back to work meditating. And you. Uh, Wraith Cannon? Nah, we can drop that off here. We don't need that either. You can keep the rest. It's time for you to donate your organs to... Idris. Idris is the only one left. So, we'll just get you to drop off the last of your gear here. And then while that's dropping off, we're going to queue up just stupid amounts of operations. First thing, never take out the uh, the 4B serum. That's the one that keeps them alive forever. So even if you do botch an operation, it doesn't kill them. I've had one of them die on the table before. Uh, now, we just start off, and I figured out the easiest way to do this is just start at the bottom, start working your way up. Just ignore the 4B and just keep going. And going. And going. Yeah, this is going to take a long while. I also make sure that they don't... Uh, accidentally try and pick up any decent clothing or stuff like that. As far as I'm concerned, they go under the lamb priorities. Uh, you, get down here and rest until healed. Uh, we're already down to your void implant removal where this one yet, so super seducer. Uh, have a, let's see if we can keep ahead of the doctors this time around. The doctors are pretty fast at this whole thing. Uh, you can see Superman down there just going absolutely nuts. Oh, I queued up the data one twice. That's my bad. Golden rabbit. Genius. Last part to remove is the heart. I think that's it. We don't want anything else off the... No, we're all good. We don't even want the stomach. We're giving everyone nuclear ones. And... Done. Then, once they recover from the death, they'll grow everything back and we can just remove uh, the 4B serum. And at that point, they get to leave. No harm, no fouls, no problems with them at all. They'll grow back all of their arms and legs and the whole nine yards. In fact, we're going to use that trick quite handily on our own pawns in a minute as well. Welcome back. Excellent. Uh, first things first, we want to remove that serum. You got nothing else of interest. Uh, rest until healed. Uh, then we're going to want to get Idris in here and we can start them. They've already got two detoxifier lungs, which is a good start, but I think a couple of Void Tech eyes would sort them out. They might as well take both of them, why not? And you, yep, you've already lost that uh, thingy moving once that you had. Actually, we'll get him down here. Perfect. So, Idris, very first thing after those eyes, we want you to get the 4B serum. In fact, let's make that the absolute first is first this thing. On the grounds that having that in there means we can't mess up and accidentally kill them. However, we can still lose the implants when we try and install them. Is a little bit of a minor downside. Oh, no void tech liver. Actually, if we have a liver in stock, we must... You know what? Let's void tech a lot of them. We've got some spare parts. We might as well burn them all. So we managed to get down as far as two legs and an arm. There's just so many operations to queue up in all of these. It it ate up so much of our medicine. It was ridiculous. The, it was a, literally an industrial quantities of medicine needed to be obtained just to support all of these operations. The, the void just seemed ridiculously OP. Just insane. Oh, and Bjorn, get over here for a second, would you? I would like you to arrest Jane. It's better off to arrest them now while they're unconscious. Anyone can do it. We'll take them off to prison, and then we can immediately get them enslaved. That way we can get rid of them. We don't need any more people. 
done. It'll be a while before they wake up. Idris, on the other hand, let's see. You are up to... Yeah, I think you need another arm. Oh, God, this is going to take for a while. <laughs> we have to do this for literally every single pawn. Uh, the joys of just trying to max out everything with this kind of weird mod pack. Oh, there's a failure. Uh, the genius implant. Damn it, we might have lost that one. Do we still have it? Nope, we still have a genius implant in storage so we can replace that one. We're actually short of a data implant on one of our people. Eh, whatever, it happens. We'll, we'll just continue along on our way of this uh, medical pit stop. Someone described it as a medical pit stop in terms of like, it's just like a pit crew, the people working all the medical stuff. We are giving everyone nuclear stomachs, just on the grounds that they won't need to eat as much anymore, but not just that, where is it? Uh, we want to give them a pain stopper so they don't feel any more pain. And at the same time, where is it? Where's my joy wire? Did I run out of joy wires? There's no way I ran out of joy wires. I made a whole bunch of those. Uh, the fastest way I find out to see if I've got joy wires is I just use the plane. Uh, yet yeah, nope, I, I ran out of joy wires. Never mind, we can rustle up a joy wire in no time at all. We'll have one along uh, in two shakes of a lamb's tail once Muppet decides... Muppet, where are you? Yeah, they're on a wander, so they won't reconsider any pathing options until they get to their wandering point over there. So instead, let's tell them, hey, we need ourselves a joy wire real quick. That's Muppet working on a joy wire. That's double speed. Yeah, that's uh, that's how fast we are at this stuff now. Anyway, oh, all those operations are complete, completed. Joy wire. So joy wire and the stomach means they don't have to eat as much. Well, don't have to eat as much and they get the plus 30 mood bonus. Combined with all of the implants from the void means they have to go to 1% of mood to get any break thresholds. So because of the joy wire, they're just never going to have a mental break. We don't need them to dine as much or worry about mood. In fact, they're pretty much unbreakable people that don't eat very often. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's just the way it is. Oh, and since we've got this new void armor, we are going to masterwork it. Zoe's the only one who can make masterwork equipment. Well, okay, I mean, technically Muppet could as well. But Zoe can basically upgrade anything to masterwork because she has over 250% psychic sensitivity, which is the required amount to get it that high. She's got 340. Uh, now, are we finished? Is there anything we missed? We're going to give him a Void Tech Nose because we got one in storage and we might as well spend it. And then, after we've done that, we are going to euthanize them by cut. Now, I know euthanizing them seems like a bit of a strange thing to do, but... Here's the thing, um, they're sort of immortal now? Let's just double check to make sure that 4B serum is working. They should never be able to die anymore, unless someone literally shoots the serum out of them, which I'm not sure it's possible. But anyway, uh, the problem we're going to have with them is they're going to be lying in bed all day, sedated, and then when they eventually recovered, they were going to be woozy with sedation, so basically two days for them to recover for the anesthesia to wear off. That's too long. Plus they can have mental breaks and throw up and stuff, and plus there's the whole, there was, I think they had a... Yep, they had some damage to their body in places from a botched operation, so they were going to be not completely good for a while. However, this way, they'll come back to life any second now. Oh, and let's try uh, uh, Bjorn over here on their needs-wise. They're probably pretty unhappy because Idris died. But, if we wait for it... There we go. Idris is back up and running. Bjorn is like, oh cool, they're back, never mind. They are a bit annoyed that we euthanized a couple of colonists. I, I may have tested this beforehand, and by may have, I mean, yeah, definitely I did this already, with less valuable colonists. By less valuable colonists, I mean lambs, but whatever, they recovered. We took the serum back out of them. And done. So now Idris is back on their feet, and they have no health negatives at all. They're completely recovered from anesthesia. So the only thing you need to recover from anesthesia is just like that, that 4B serum and euthanize them. Recover from everything instantly. Perfect. Well, not instantly, it takes them a few minutes, but that's pretty fast. And the final step to make sure that they are completely good is, okay, you want to get some recreation in, that's fine, I suppose you have it in a hospital bed. We're going to get them to put on some Vengeance Guard armor. This is the final step in getting leveled up. Everyone else is wearing Vengeance Guard armor, except for, well, our Warcast people and Bjorn. And the only reason Bjorn's wearing the suit is because they're our negotiator, so it just felt appropriate. Right, oh, and we also stole all the tables from the, the Void. Well, they had really nice looking tables and chairs, and I thought, well... I like stealing chairs, so let's uh, steal their tables too and have a nice uh, matching set. All right, now let's have a little bit of fun with the void, shall we? Oh, and we've just successfully managed to enslave Jane, that uh, void donor. That's no problems. We just chuck them into this and they are gone. Uh, or well, they will be in a second. Are you? 
Yep, you're getting a little bit of suppression from Bjorn. That's okay, but once they're finished, they'll pop off into the transport pod and we'll fire them off at the Empire someone. Now, the thing is, we're actually friendly with the Empire already. And I, by friendly, I mean 100% friendly. As in, we can't get any happier with us. They, they, they like us as much as they're ever going to like us. They're at 100. So you get the... Well, the nicest message I've ever seen from the Empire in a long time, if you send them someone and they don't need it to buy, to, for us to curry favour with them. There it is. The Red Imperium accepted your gift, but they don't appreciate it. Just, um, just wonderful. I love it. Love it to death. Oh, and um, we have some new lovers that happened uh, in between times. That was Cyberman, our dedicated cropper, the person who does all the crops and stuff, and Muppet, our dedicated, well, crafter. So the dedicated crafter and dedicated farmer, I suppose, linked up on, on grounds of that they're just dedicated to individual tasks and sort of together they complement each other, maybe? I, I don't know. We'll see if it works out. One thing I've been doing on the side is to prepare for what's going to happen later when, well, massive attack waves start coming at us. Now, I know loads of them are going to land on top of us, but those that do come through our kill tunnel hallway thing, what I wanted to do is make sure they went across all the muddy ground. Muddy ground reduces movement speed to 48%. Shallow water to 30%, and if we could just keep them sort of corralled into this area, I thought it'd be really nice. So what I've done is I've basically built these platforms along here across the muddy ground, and we've put in moisture pumps. Now when these moisture pumps expand in, well, those ones in 15 hours, they'll expand in this cross pattern. So realistically, this one will expand to here and here, this one will expand to here and here, and we'll be able to wall in, we'll have a two-tile thick wall going all the way along here if we want. Over here, we won't quite put it tight up against the water, but we moved it a bit so we'd have more space. We're going to wall up here as well, and any pollen, any enemies will have to come in through here and trek a long, long way. They'll have to go through this area, we're going to leave a little gap there, to get around to attack our people. That'll give us plenty of time to riddle them full of hot plasma. I mean, might as well get this stuff sorted while we're waiting. Now, excuse me while I feel up a helicopter, we gotta go uh, find a new void base to break. Welcome to our staging post. This is located on the far side of the world, way, way, way over here. We put down a little base, we flew out a helicopter, we dropped it down, we put down a skip door, and now we have, well, a, a staging post to attack both of these void bases. There's a third one over there we might even get before we have to send out the helicopter again. I figure we send out the helicopter to get nearby, then we send a caravan to go the rest of the way. However, I thought something we could do while we're waiting for LAM7 to go on a little bit of a crusade. What are you at? Oh, damn it, I forgot to give you the ring, didn't I? Hey, teleport back to home base. Yeah, that's uh, completely broken that you can teleport across half the map instantaneously, but whatever. In fact, most of the map instantaneously. Back to the staging post. Uh, you are going to go on a caravan quest. That is right. You are headed all the way over here, so you're going to have a quick chat with the Void. And by quick chat, ooh, no, no. Quick chat with the Void, I mean you're just going to wander over there and do absolutely nothing. And go. Confirm. Yep. You're going to put down a skip door when you get there. The rest of you, Cred. Oop, you. One. You're going to break into this uh, ancient danger. We're going to see how you guys do. These guys have no real stuff going for them. They're just a bunch of bog-standard pawns equipped with, well, void equipment. A lot of void equipment. They've got their own personal shields. They can still shoot all their guns as normal. What have we got in here? Just some bugs? Yeah. Easy peasy. This will be standard issue stuff for them. Eh, everyone get moving. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on. Yeah, no one's going to really be in too much danger, it's just the the amount of power they have available is incredible. And their armor protection is sort of top-notch too. Come on, god, like two, three bullets at a time and everyone's dead. Right, let's hope the people in the caskets are... Actually, let's not hope they're better. They're probably just a bit much a pain in the butt. Uh, are you all happy? Defeated Insect Hive. There was two of them. That's not even a hive, that's not even an infestation, that's just a, a day in the life. Get a little bit too happy there if you ask me. Right then, uh, in that case, you, who's got a, the weapon with the shortest cooldown? We don't want a Dusk Carabine, what we want is a Dusk Mag. See, Dusk Mags, uh, yeah, these ones. Much shorter range, but they're a little bit faster to fire, less likely to cause issues. Though we may accidentally blast this entire Ancient Cryptic Basket to bits of it. Yep, yep. Like, like I said, they got a little bit of power behind them. Hey, look at Snyder. Snyder, do you have any gear that could cause us any problems? No, I'm just seeing if any of them have low shields. Not seeing any on them. Yeah, gun them down, boys. Gun them all down. Dear Christ. 
they just like the, the splash damage alone just wiped out the ancient crypto sleep caskets. I don't think I've ever had access to that much firepower before, but that's also what we're going to be facing when we go against the void. Though we're not going to fight fair against the void. That'd just be. You don't want to fight fair against the void. That's just silly. Well, it looks like we can take on ancient dangers pretty easy, so good to know, I suppose. Uh, Bjorn, head back home. These guys, I basically just patched them up. Why not? Just get off the map. I, I would prefer not to have your corpses stinking up the place. We're going to use this as a staging ground. Uh, what's this? This is... Uh, oh, yeah. Lambs in, one of the lambs is in a helicopter bringing it home. Well, someone had to fly it home. We can't teleport it back magically, unfortunately. Maybe you can. You know what? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's going according to plan so far. Next up... Uh, destroying a void base with lambs. We're going to use exclusively the lambs to destroy the void base using nothing but magic. I hope. That is the plan, is to use nothing but magic. Whether or not it works is another question. It all depends on what happens when Lamb 7 gets there. While all of that prep work is going on, we're going to do a little bit of corpse talking here. We have kept ourselves a wonderful, wonderful void corpse with all of the skills in the world. Zoe's about to become really good at an awful lot of things for the next 15 days. 15 days that we're going to for. Let's just do the same with all of our fighters. We want them to be absolutely rocking it. Uh, Draco, how you looking there, buddy? There's only three things you can do, and all of them you can do at maximum capacity. Our caravan has arrived. It's time to begin. Now, there is this enter passcode thing, and there's a code you can put in to basically get free goodies out of the void and become allied with them. No, 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 no. I find out what the code is, and I'm not interested. I mentioned it in the destruction of the void. Allying with them would seem like, uh, like, put it this way, we're, we're not in the mood for t a Robin for our Batman. We we want to be the Batman in this relationship, so the relationship is going to be Batman versus, I don't know, what's a low-end Batman villain that no one cares about? You know what? Let's just say a rat. They're, they're a rat, we're Batman, whatever. Uh, let's see, where did we come in? Is that us? Yeah. Huh. This is a totally different base. Is this... It's definitely the Void, but... Huh, I was expecting it to be very similar to the last one. Not even close. Well, let's make a difference. They also appear to have put together a ship. 23 crypto ship. So wait, you're telling me we could just nick this ship and fly off at it? I mean, we don't want to, but we could if we... Huh, interesting. But no, we're, we're here to, like, murderize them. Uh, so... First off, it's going to be the weirdest way to kill them that we've come up with so far. We're going to immediately get over into the corner over here, make a skip door, and call in the kill team. Actually, wait, no. Not enough open space. I think... Yeah, over here. Over here has slightly more open space, or... What am I doing? We don't care. They're going to have to come outdoors. There's nothing around here they can use. Yeah, they'll have to come the long way around to get us. We should just... Right here's perfect. Yep, no point half arsing this at all at all. Uh, this will be void to death. Yes, okay, void to death. We just gotta make sure to always make sure we leave someone here. If I had have had Lamb 7 exit, then this place would have eventually instantly disappeared. Let's get the team together. It's going to be the usual suspects. Uh, let's get them all ready to go. Now, this team is not the kill team. Their job is to provide support. So let me queue up the teleports. While they're teleporting over, we're going to get the real kill team. Which is, yeah, I think it's Lamb 8, 9, and 10. They're going to be our kill team on this mission. I know, that sounds uh, kind of crazy, but hear me out on this one. It will all make sense, sort of. You have never seen a more terrifying bunch of hippies and toques. Eh... Right, let's get up a firing line to protect them, and then we'll start the plan. First up, I'm thinking a little bit of a light hurricane to get us started. That'll slow down the void and make, the, make it a little bit harder for them to get a, a, the drop on us. I mean, they move at 29 speed, 30 speed. They can, if they decide to come for you, they start coming quick. Hurricane will cut down on that by dropping their speeds down to a more reasonable level. Somewhere around the, uh, what, is, what are you at? Six to seven, you're at a nine. Right, nine move speed, that we can handle. That gives us some reaction time to work with. Let Zoe build up a bit of neural heat there. And then once it's done... Close. Now, now get us up to about... Oh, say a thousand should be more than sufficient. 
That's uh, plenty of forced hurricane going around the place. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, cancel that. And then once that's done, we want you to recharge your... You turn that neural heat right back into Psy Focus. And while that's going on, we're going to do a time quake. Time quake is going to... Everyone inside this circle will be fine. Everyone outside it will age something like 33, 35 years. Yeah, now that means that we'll actually do damage to buildings and walls as well. This is about 33% damage to buildings and walls. So in theory, one of these should just, like, ha a third kill everything on the map. Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, it takes 20 seconds. Yeah, we'll confirm that. Uh, then we'll do two of them, and then we'll do three of them. That should uh, effectively wipe out everything on the map. Except us, of course. We're standing inside this. Uh, Airwolf has arrived at the destination. Exit. Zoe, while you are here, let's put down a bit of a shield in case any of the enemies come charging at us. Where did I put that thing? Yeah, I really need to figure out what it is that allows you to minimize the amount of castings or customize this casting, just so I can figure out where everything is. But I'm too lazy. Okay, are we done? Okay, shields up. Time quakes are about to start. In. Ooh, our relationships with everyone has taken a little bit of a hit. They're, they're not used li liking that. Everything seems very bright right now. I think that is the days passing faster. Uh, boomalops. All the boomalops on the, the map instantly died. They simply aged to death and had heart attacks. Every single last one of them. That's what happens when you uh, hit people with rapid aging very quickly. They sort of just have heart attacks. You are 75. You are 78. You are 81. Uh, friendly visitors. Oh, no. Nobody. No, no, this is a bad time to be a friendly visitor. 29, 31. Okay, I think you're inside the radius. You should be safe, should you? Oh, God. Okay, what? Disease muscle parasites? Who got muscle par... How? You guys can't get muscle parasites. You're, you've, you've got, like, genetic stuff and things that stop you from even thinking about getting sick. Okay, um... How about the lamp? Okay, psychic coma, psychic coma, yeah, yeah, yeah you, you guys will be fine. Alright, how are these guys doing over here? We've got... Yep, heart attack. Was it? Heart attack fatal. Yeah, that's what gets you with the aging. What, what age did you last till? 89. That's actually pretty good. Uh, oh no. Yeah, they're gonna recover from that heart attack and get back up. True, they're gonna be 80, but, uh... Oh. Dead. You're gonna die soon as well. They're trying. Uh, there we go. Another one bites the dust. Base was destroyed successfully. That means... Yeah, it's already done. We don't even have to do anything else. We could leave here and this place would cease to exist. However, I want to see the walls crumble. What? N4 wanders in. One of your parts is getting sick with sleeping sickness. Zoe, how you doing, dude? You getting sleeping sickness too? Muscle parasites on you. It's like a coma, sleeping sickness. Okay, okay, so I'm beginning to think that when we did this time thing, it also compressed all the possible events that could happen on this tile. Because we shouldn't be getting sleeping sickness and w rare thrombos? Oh man. Are we about to give thrombos dementia and heart attacks? Like I I don't want to be that guy. Seriously? Uh, that's just mean. Okay, the N4s have wandered in. These are... Yeah, not... not worried. Pretty sure those things can't age out and die. They're pretty much immortal zombies. Worry about that. That's actually the second herd of thrombos. So those two herds of thrombos have wandered in. Right, insect jelly. Uh, giant insects have tunneled from under each bit uh, and deposited some surplus insect jelly on the surface. Okay. Uh... Drifters wish for aid. I, I think that's back on our home tile, is it? Uh, probably. What do you want? 700 silver. That is fine. Where are you guys? Back here on our home base tile. Yeah, that is, that is grand. No problems there. You, you can have that stuff. Psychic soothe mail. That's fine. Disease muscle parts. Attack has begun. You know what? Don't care. Don't care. We should maybe move our people off this tile. Like, I think Zoe's probably going to get hit with more muscle parasites or sleeping sickness or malaria or something. Not going to worry about it too much longer. Let's see. Are the walls going to be destroyed? Seriously? <sighs> okay. 
Silent Lamp. Le fi Lamb has gained level 15 Silent That's fine. Void contact. Void ascent. An advisor to negotiate your surrender? What? Why? Why would I negotiate a surrender with you guys? It seems like a dumb thought. Any of you guys have Neutronium 4? 2B, 2B. Nah. You're all weak sauce. Right. So... Okay, what? But am I not, does that mean I'm not aggressive with them anymore, or... Wait, the void are neutral again? Okay, how did we break things? <laughs> That's just excellent. Right. Hey, we'll, we'll worry about that one later. Cold snap. Oh no. Uh, flash storm? Right, that's fine. Volatile chamber. A mysterious conversion chamber has crashed nearby. Uh, oh, yeah, it's actually, I can see the, the shadow over there. It hasn't actually hit. Area revealed. Um, oh, we d disintegrated a wall over here. Uh, area revealed. Yeah, visitors, a stew keeper. From, this is just the bizarre thing setting this off. Okay, you're 61 years of age and probably going to die soon from a heart attack. This guy's smart. He's staying close to us. He's only lost a decade of his life. Bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. And um, you guys can't get muscle parasites. Let me just double check that. Oh, God damn it! They can get muscle parasites. How? You should... Mm. I should send someone to bring some of that healing stuff over. Anyway. Fine. Muscle parasites. Visitors or attack has begun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of this. That's wonderful. Hostile void. They're now hostile to you. Well, yeah. That was sort of the point. Um, enemy now to avoid hostile void again. Whatever. Um... Bizarreness. Has the time thing stopped yet? Oh god. What's with that? Cargo pods. Right. Cargo pods have landed. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, yeah, it, it came from that thing. That's fine. So we've got a volatile leaper leper. Move speed of 32? Right, okay. Uh, things are doing stuff and stuff. Psychic ship? Okay, a psychic sh <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have used three time quakes. No, actually. No, no. Three time quakes were absolutely perfect. It crushed a bunch of walls, killed a bunch of things, and exposed a bunch of area. I am... Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm so glad I was here for that bit. I, I, I didn't think to look at the time. Well, that's, uh... That's the place broken down. It, it completely disintegrated. The entire area has been destroyed. How are these guys looking? You are 67, 83. Uh, there is Muffalo. <laughs> there is a mega slot dead of a heart attack. Bunch of heart attacked alpacas. Um, how are you guys doing? You are only 64. Well, that is wonderful. Uh, oh, the roof collapsed and destroyed a bunch of stuff. Yeah, all the buildings got destroyed. What about items? No, some of the items are still here. There's masks and things and stuff. Hmm. You know what? Not too worried. There's a wraith over there, and there was buildings in here somewhere. That spawned things, and they're also destroyed. Are you two gonna fight? Monster fights would be nice. Yeah, there's a roof cut. Seriously, a mechanoid cluster as well? Ooh, I feel like we should leave and just let them murder each other, but I don't want to because it's more fun this way. Okay, cargo pods are landing nearby. Got it. Uh, yeah. Young beggars are seeking alms. Okay, we got a, a second group of beggars. Like, two beggars at once. Area revealed. Area revealed. Don't get rid of all the areas revealed. We don't care about them. They are of no import right now. This is freaking chaos. Okay, psychic ship. Um, cargo, you know, turn off the map for a second so I can actually see what's going on here. There is so much junk happening. Roof collapse. Yes, uh, things that were crushed. Oh, uh, yeah, don't, don't care. Roof collapse. Lots of things crushed. Wow. I don't think I've seen a things that were crushed list that long before. Medical skill trainers, bionic implants, mastery stuff. Right, I was really hoping it wouldn't destroy all that stuff when we knocked down the walls, but honestly... Don't care. Totally worth it for the view. Um, cargo pods, yep. Yeah. Uh, psychic ship, yep, yeah, that's... Yeah, we can take care of you real quick. 
Uh, you don't care about the psychic ship, cargo pods, you don't care about you. Let's keep this going. What are... Um... So... Oh... <laughs> Jesus. Fine, okay, we've got an infestation. That looks to be happening... Back home? Yeah, I actually, no, this is on this... Yep, yep, probably. For up, like this t Which tile is this on? God damn it. Okay, fine. It's on uh, the one with Dawid. Catgirl Diogenes. Right, it's on this tile. Fine, fine. We've got an infestation around here somewhere. Uh, who cares? Uh, we've got a quest available for deserters. Don't care. We've got visitors. Don't care. Mechanoid cluster. Yeah, grad. Actually, get rid of cargo pods. Cargo pods. And we've got an Aurora. Oh, huh, cool. It'll look really nice out here while we have a cold snap and two flash storms and a psychic soothe and three time quakes. Uh, 3.9 days until enemies arrive. Is that a uh, time quake style or regular style? Okay, time quakes are over. The weird effects are gone. That guy had his heart attack. Survived 89. Ripe old age. Gerbil, how you looking? 33. Smart guy stayed inside the radius. You are 28 and you are 53. I hope that was not us. Oh, okay. We accidentally killed one of the thrombos. They died of heart attack. Yeah. Anyone else get any age related conditions? No, you're actually fine. Cool. It's just aging out the thrombos feels kind of mean. They're just, you know, they're not they're not bad people. Um, right. We need to take all of these home. And I think we will leave the rest of the team to kill everything that's around here. We've got to worry about muscle parasites as the biggest negative, And Zoe has got muscle parasites. But, yeah, we can get that tended. We've got some of that, uh, that bee serum. In fact, there should be some serum down here. And has someone activated this thing? What are you, your smoke spear? Why are you asleep? There's a proximity activator right here. Hmm. I say we give them a little bit of a wake-up call and let them fight. In fact, let's check the map. Yeah, there's some nasty monsters down here, and these guys over here have died. Hmm. Ooh. That reminds me. Some of these have the ability to resurrect. Will they fight these things and just keep fighting them and punching them until they, they die? Huh. Let's, let's, let's stay in this tile a little bit longer. Zoe has been doing a bit of a heat refresher. And at the same time, one of the Void guys has woken up from his little death nap and has decided it's time to run. How are you not setting these guys off? Now, it used to be you could just pretend sleeping spots to wake these things up, but I don't think that works anymore. Yeah, they don't care about sleeping spots. That's unfortunate. Uh, in that case... Uh, Zoe, are you recharged? Yes, you are. You can fire skip home. In that case, everyone else can get out of the line of fire. Chief Multi-Hat, you can come along as well. And what Zoe can do is just, well, fire skip home. Assuming I've... Yep, yeah, definitely. I've got the skill. Uh, that should allow us to bring all the lambs home. The uh, thing is, can't get the lambs through the skip gate. Because they're unconscious. Off you go, Zoe. And this guy... Ooh... Yeah, you weren't you weren't gonna make that. Miranda has triggered a proximity activator. What? Oh, there's Miranda. Miranda must have gotten up from over here. There was three of them that had those implants. Damn it! Uh, which, which one was it? There's another one over here, maybe. Ah, there's Grill. Grill has picked up a gun, and they're fighting off one of these. Wow! Did some good damage, but they're probably gonna go down. Again. I mean, they're doing good for a geriatric. They're 89 years of age, still kicking arse. Uh, you, how you doing? 89 years of age as well? Also kicking arse uh, in the middle of all of this. I thought we were going to have to have to activate that stuff, but it turns out, nope, they're going to do it for us. Uh, Miranda caused problems. Oh, yeah, that's going to cause a bit of a chain reaction. Uh, we don't really need the loot anyway, but whatever. Oh. How's that guy looking? The Volatile Leaper Leper is, is probably going to be okay for a while longer. Oof. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, not great. Well then, that sort of all worked out. Uh, oh, and Zoe is back home. Perfect. And all of the lambs should be... Yep, yeah, they're in medical wards. 
Excellent. Once you guys are recovered, make sure to regenerate your Psy Focus so that we can do this to another Void Base. That was a very quick way and efficient way of killing a Void Base. A little bit chaotic, not gonna lie. But I'm just here to watch the place burn down. Uh, we can leave it at any point, but I just don't wanna. There's too much stuff going on. Oh, Grill. Good job. Wait, who's Asta? Joins? Uh, they're thankful that you rescued him. He has decided he would rather stay than leave and is joining your colony. Marriage is on. Oh, Muppet and Simmer are getting married. Who is Astes? Oh, yeah, this guy. Yeah. Forgot about that. I was just being nice. I was trying to make up for... Uh... You know what? You're not a terrible pollen. You're like, good shooting in melee. We can thrall you up and put you on the front. In fact, we don't even need to thrall you up. Uh, you can just get a bunch of implants, so... Yeah, go to home base if you wouldn't mind. We can sort you out there. Oh, God, you move slow. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll fix you up. Can we move at 0.56? Soon you'll be moving at 30 speed, and you'll be effectively immortal. Infusion for Suncrest is broken down to one anesthetic woozy. Oh, yeah, I forgot to kill them after their operations. All right, let's see how this guy's doing. The volatile leper is like... No, not, I refuse to die. I respect that enthusiasm. Oh, is it on fire? You know what, never mind. It's still fighting, but not well. We'll leave you guys to it. Just, uh, hey, try to avoid the thrombos. They did nothing to you guys. Oh, Miranda's back to life. How you doing, Miranda? Uh, melee attacking a pikeman. Just absolute ballerness. You still got most of your implants, and you are... Yep, you're beating the snot out of a pikeman in melee combat while getting shot at by a whole bunch of other people. The only weakness I can really see with the Void is they can get set on fire. They don't have any flammability resistance. So if you check under flammability, it's at 70%. That's the same for all pawns. There's only a... Just a genetic trait that helps reduce that. But as it is, throwing fire at them is the only way to get them to run around in circles and not do anything. Dear. God, once they decide to get into close combat and start punching people with their fists, it's really hard to stop them, especially when you throw on that armor they're wearing. Convention scarred stuff is, what, 200% sharp protection? They just fisted a freaking a pikeman to death. They just beat the snot out of it. They just ran up to it and punched it until it fell over. Oh, and their shield came back online. Oh, God. Yep. And... Oopsie. Yeah, that's about to pop. And there goes another Lancer. I mean, I kind of want to hire Miranda, just on the grounds that that's just, uh... They've got a kind of a record behind them that's pretty good. Oh, wow. They've decided to take on the Volatile... <laughs> oh, are the people from Rotol leaving? Yeah, uh, I'm kind of shocked it took you this long to decide to leave. You can look over here and see there's literally a giant monster fighting a bunch of mechanoids and an immortal who's just like, I refuse to die. Oh, and Grill is... Wow. Seriously, Grill? Oh, man. Uh, that's one down. Can you get off a second volley before they close the distance? Uh, no, you... Oh, yeah, that's two down. You have done some seriously good work over here. I gotta give it to you. Ooh, uh, has our other... Like, I kind of want to hire... Oh, wow. They've literally fought until their armor came off. Good job, Miranda. Well, I'm gonna leave them to it. I think, um... Oh, yeah, I gotta go back home and make sure this guy gets, uh... Modded up. No problems. Easy peasy. Miranda eventually succumbed to death again, but this time due to a lost, lost torso. Uh... Yeah, turns out no torso left. Bit of an inconvenience. Meanwhile, uh, Bear Grill's down here, or Bear Grill, has managed to kill all of the four... Was it... How many things were bothering him down here? I don't know, there was a whole bunch of these weird... Bone N4 monsters. Uh, they've now come up, and they are taking on... A freaking centipede from the rear with a minigun. How did that thing even die? What killed it? A missing body part. A uh, mini slugger turret got it. Oh, they were shooting at Grill. How's the centipede looking? Still a lot. Okay, nope, no, it's dead. And uh, I think Grill just got killed. Yep. Ouch. Don't worry, buddy. We can rebuild you. Maybe we'll capture you guys and keep you alive. 
Ooh, that's interesting. If they're on fire, will they still be able to get back up? Hmm. Well, I suppose we'll find out. Uh, what's left? Leper is making short work of Caro over here, uh, but that's fine. Uh, that means that Miranda here is having a chance to make a break for it. They've decided that leaving the, the map is the better part of Valor. I think we'd like to keep them around the place, though, so I think a little bit of psychic shock and uh, they can come join us. And we could mind rip them, but it might be better just to keep them as a normal pawn. Wait, do you have shock? Ah, here we go. Psychic shock. Boom. Done. There's also another one over there we could probably grab. And where's the last one? Yeah, we can grab Grill as well. I mean, I think we could have a few of the, the Void join us, and I think Miranda and Grill have proven their uh, psychotic dedication to fighting. Loot-wise, this place was not nearly as good as the last one, uh, namely because most of it got destroyed. So, yeah, there's a lot of medicine and stuff. In fact, we might want to move this to, you know what, move it closer to the storage location. That would probably be the smart plan. Oh, and bring everyone back. This place has been cored out. Everything is gone. I love the way that it's just... We've literally destroyed every building. It's all been leveled to the ground. I don't even know where the collapsed rocks came from. I presume there's a mountain here or something? I have no idea. Makes no sense. Oh, ship's gone, though we managed to get the ship core out of it, so uh, that's good for us. Let's just have everyone go home. Uh, yeah, teleport to home base. We'll worry about this place uh, never, I suppose. There's no point worrying about it at all. Uh, and that tile is now gone. Well, we're at it. Uh, it turns out the Void don't like what we did. Uh, boo-hoo on them. Basically, yeah, 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 you have 24 hours to release the Void prisoners of war or else there will be dire consequences for your settlement. Wait, did they actually declare war on us? I can't remember. Eh, who cares? Here's their three prisoners. I want to see if we can recruit them. Why not? They're like level 19 to level 20 in just about every skill and... Yeah, who cares? We'll give it a go. We'll see what the response of Void is. If it really is as violent as we're hoping, we might just keep around a little bit longer. Trying to recruit these people is going to be tough. The resistance is 100 and their will is 99.7. Um, that seems difficult. We're going to try two different strategies here. Uh, the first one is going to be... Word of Trust. I don't think a Word of Trust is going to do much, but we'll give it a go first and see what it does. And uh, what do you got for us? That... Did that do anything? Did they even notice? 80. Okay, so it knocked 10% off their resistance. That's... well, 20% actually. Uh, Chris, how about you? You've got... Word of Foretelling. This one's going to cost you a year of your life, but, you know... I give it back to you. We've got a bunch of lambs over there. We'd be more than happy to donate a few years to you. And by donate, I mean, well, they're kind of ob ob obliged to. Uh, right, so we can recruit them. It just takes, like, a lot. Uh, we'll make it no interaction for now. There's no point trying to do this the normal way. It just will not work. But I think, yeah, we can knock off about 20 points per person. We can get this done pretty quickly. To make this recruitment go a bit faster, I've got an idea as how we can do all three of them at the same time. We'll just do a group link. Oh, does not work on prisoners, does it? Hmm. Actually, no. It does work on prisoners. And in that case, we can then do... Word of Trust. There we go. Your psychic sensitivity is all 100% on all of you. Come join us. Let's see. Prisoners 99, 100, 60... Okay, dropped, should have dropped all of them by about 20 points. Perfect. Then, uh, why don't we just have a little go juice? We can speed things along nicely. Then we can just zap them again, again, and again, and at some point they will stop resisting and they will join us. I would like to point out that this method of just breaking them with mass word of trust is completely possible in a vanilla playthrough. On the grounds that it just... Well, all you need is go juice and word of trust, both of it and, oh, well, go juice tolerance, and that's it. You're done. You can basically just pound out as much of this as you need, assuming you've got enough go juice to do it with. Huh, it might be an idea if you're ever doing a vanilla run through with just the uh, this mod installed. Void might seem a bit tough, but it is quite possible to recruit them so long as you've got a few psi powers and uh, enough go juice immunity. And you might want to inject some go juice for a while. Uh, just to get your, you know, get your sea legs, so to speak. We need you back up and running. Okay, Bjorn, uh, get your recruitment on. 
let's see how this goes. You got those guys should all be broken, so they should recruit pretty much instantly. Is the hope? Well, because if they don't, we're gonna get attacked. Uh, and I'd like to have these guys recruited first. Though I do have another idea I'd like to try. Namely, uh, maybe outfitting all of our lambs. Where's this one? Oh, you, I still have to unload you. I completely forgot about you. Sorry about that. But yeah, outfitting our lambs with uh, Mind Break. And basically, skip Void members towards us and lobotomize them. Basically, when they raid us, we basically capture all of their people that we want, turn them to our side as zombie thralls, and then we just keep growing bigger and bigger as we go. Every raid they attack us with, we just capture their people and become bigger, more powerful, and more dangerous. I mean, it might work. Well, that's two new recruits, and it just is starting on the last one. Oh, God. I don't even think we need them, but it just seemed like a fun idea at the time. I mean, they survived so much. Why not give them a shot? And that's three. We now have recruited three of the Void's people. I don't know if they'll come still and attack us. Uh, honestly, I don't care. I'm kind of liking the idea of just turning into an unstoppable force of nature that just sort of recruits all of the Void personnel that have those little implants in them that make them immortal. We basically just go around lobotomizing them and join them over to our side. Still, though, we've got those, where is it, these two guys, Cade and Astate, the ones I picked up out of that ancient danger, which I shouldn't have. I just put them in beds, and then they're like, oh, please save us. And uh, you, you kind of feel bad turning them away. So they've sort of joined us too, and now we've got too many pawns. We already had too many pawns, but this is just too many, many. Somehow, I'm out of time, and all we managed to do was kill one void base. Though, we do have a location over here we can pop over and kill the, the armory's void base. I think we'll do that real quick at the start of the next episode. Just pop over three lambs, nuke it with Timequake, and then just get out of there. No point hanging around. Anyway, uh, apologies for not getting everything done. I, uh, when is the last time I've ever managed to get predictions to work out on time? Who knows? Anyway, I am going to cut this out here. I hope you enjoyed our fumbling around, and uh, good luck.